Good morning traders and this is your Dow Jones day trade setup for today. So we had the wedge break so there's a couple of things happening here. So we had a, a bearish wedge break here. Now to be honest with you we haven't had a retest of that so technically it hasn't been tested and we would expect that to be tested. So we've ended up with an inside bar right off the moving averages here and we've had a crossover the moving averages in the daily. So crossed through the moving averages, gone sideways, come back and tested this break. Now, to be honest with you, I was expecting us to get a little bit lower, come and test this level down here, and then uh, sort of make the decisions on what, what's going to happen. So for now, what we have is inside bar on the daily, and um, as I mentioned yesterday, we're kind of looking at that kind of setup at the moment. Okay, so that is a sort of channel. So we've uh, sort of spiked off the level, pulled back, and then we're now in a bigger channel. So that's kind of the, the view that we're looking at at the moment. And I think for me right now, I think at 61.8 Fibonacci is what the bulls are targeting. And uh, the Fed's also pumping more money into this market. So I still believe we have kind of that area there. So this previous high may even break through that and close this gap. If it does get above sort of the 73.6 level, um, and sort of break above here, all bets are off, then I expect we're going to be heading back to the top. Okay, so difficult to... To believe what's happening at the moment based on uh, you know, what's happened in the past couple of weeks in around the world but anyway that's where we are at the moment so as far as I'm concerned there is still another trade to the upside here and I am long right now and I'm looking for the 61.8 okay that's a level that I will then re reassess what's happening and actually look around so let's just have a look at the four, uh, let's get to the three hour over. So yesterday I mentioned that we're bouncing off the 150 here. Okay, so if we just put a block in here, so we kind of ranged around the 150. Okay, which is basically our new bottom of the channel. And you can see there was the first swing low, there's the second swing low, so that was a trend line. And you can see how we bounced off it here. Okay, so a break above this was definitely on the card for a long. We got the long. Okay. We have sort of bounced off the middle of nowhere. There are quite a few tails here that we can asset that we can take, but I think just take that Brooks gap there. So that's kind of where the profit taking happened, fell off, and now we're moving back to the upside. Okay. Now I think I'm just going to delete all the noise for us at the moment. What do we see here? So first things first. We have a flag. Okay. So we do have a flag that is brewing at the moment. And I think if you actually see a little bit better on the four hour, there it is there. Yeah. So we have this flag green at the moment, we rejected the top, and by the looks of things, it looks like we're going to be moving to the upside now. Okay, so this flag break has two targets, basically. It's got the top of the flag, um, or alternatively, it has a measured move, which is going to be that kind of thing there. So, which should take us... To that area there, which is uh, 26643, which I think is a little bit too high as far as I'm concerned. Uh, what I'm looking for is that area there, which is going to be 24971. Okay, so if we just bring this level down a bit, just to that, we take Kind of the height of the flag. We take it up there, that gives us the previous highs. Okay, 
So those are the, the two scenarios that, that I see at the moment. It's, uh, I'm just going to leave the levels in and delete the noise. So delete that, delete that. So it could be a flag. Um, it could also just be a retest of the highs here. So whatever it is, I'm long and I'm looking first level 24384. And uh, I'm anticipating a break through that area and a visit of 24970 uh, area. Okay, anything on the 24900 uh, area is probably what I'm looking at, and we'll just watch and see what happens at that level for an, uh, probably for an hour or two, just to ascertain whether we need to stay in or get out of it. Okay, so that's kind of uh, my setup at the moment, and if you look at the the half hour, actually, if we just move to the hour, you'll see there is another flag brewing here. Okay, and that one has a measured move roughly around this Brooks Gap here. And if I just move it a little bit further, you've got two areas here that you need to pay attention to. Uh, it's there and there. So these are kind of two micro levels that we're looking at on the hour. Okay, so that's 24. Let's say 2400. Yeah, let's just round that off. Um, so, first target right now is 24,000. Um, if that breaks, then you're looking at the previous highs, which is going to be 24,384. And then ultimately, I'm looking for uh, 24,970. Okay, so that's kind of my view at the moment. And um, just to back this up, we are above the zero line here. And but more importantly, my stochastics are quite far apart and looking like they're going to cross on the hour. So we've probably got another two hours to go before this gets confirmed. But that's kind of the view that we're looking at. And again, you can see how the 150 EMA is holding up things on the hour. You can see how it's running here. And it actually does it even better on the 15 minutes as well. Anyway, that was just a bit of extra information for you. But that's my view today. Looking for longs and um, anticipating a move pretty much to the 61.8 over the next, uh, hopefully the next two days. I uh, don't really want to hold it over the weekend, but we'll see where we end up tomorrow. Um, but that's it for me today. I hope it helps, and we'll catch you later. Cheers for now.